Yeah, so uh, very pleased with the performance today. Um, a performance that, uh, first of all, uh, was uh, with the heart, with uh, unity, with um, giving everything that we have, and uh, tactically very disciplined. We were very pragmatic in, uh, in the moments that we found space going forward. We had the patience um, to be able to, to make sure that we understood the moments in the game in which we had to defend a little more or when we had to attack a little bit more. And we found good spaces going forward. I think uh, the first half, I will say all the way until the 35, 40th minute, it was very, very good. I think we were the dominant team, mostly in the first half. I thought that um, we kept the ball well. Uh, we had the ideas clear, defensively very strong. I don't, I don't recall many opportunities uh, from Seattle. Second half, uh, they were able to come more at us. They found more uh, spaces. They, uh, especially in, in the corners, where they were very dangerous. And uh, during that time, we, we stay disciplined. We work very hard. We believe in, in, in fighting together to be able to get a result. And we knew exactly, tactically, each player what to do in those moments. Now we need to get better. Even though it was a great performance and a very good game, and uh, being able to beat Seattle here, uh, our rival, um, it was very important. But we have to we have to continue to grow. We have to continue to get better. We have to continue to work in some details. But when you defend like we defended today, when you are able to do the things that we did in the first half, and when you have the tranquility to be able to um, score those goals in, in moments in which we understood exactly um, what was asked for us to do at those moments, um, I think it, it showed a very mature performance. We can be a much better team. We need to continue to work. It is uh, just a very good step forward today, I think. Great, thank you. We'll open it up to media for questions now. If you have one, please raise your hand and we will start it off with Nick Karpke. Gio, uh, beyond the win, this club just uh, can't seem to get away from this bad luck injuries, man. What can you tell us about Eric at this point in time? Very unfortunate. Um, it, is, uh, it is a severe injury. Um, his knee, his uh, ACL, uh, we'll see uh, more uh, after evaluation um, to give uh, the right comment on, on the full detail but it doesn't look good. Uh, it, it looks, as I said, very severe and, and most likely, you know, he, he won't play the, for a while. So at the moment is 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 the sad um, situation. Second time that happens here. I remember it's Seba as well. So it's very unfortunate for, for a player that, uh, like Eric, that was uh, doing so well, that was growing, was becoming, the future was, you know, uh, very, very promising in what he was doing uh, day by day, you know, game by game. Um, so it's, it's definitely uh, the, the lowest point of today. And, uh, and we just right now have to stay close to him, support him, um, continue to work and, and make sure that uh, he come back strong. But uh, it, it's, not a, it, it's not a good situation. Next we'll go to K2. Uh, Gio, congratulations on the win. Um, considering how the last game at Providence Park with Seattle went and how tough it's been for you, uh, when you realized that you had won, um, what was the feeling and how proud of the guys were you? I'm extremely proud um, because uh, it's not easy bouncing back from some of the difficult performances that we had, but the, the team worked very well this week. They, we went back to, as I said, uh, in, a press, in a press conference, we went back to our principles to, to work on the details, to, to make sure that now that we have the group um, together, you know, that uh, we needed to clean up a couple of things, uh, mentally, physically. So it, it, it was a very good week of, of work and it, it showed today in the game. Uh, so great performance. I'm very, very proud of this, this group. Um, even more so, you know, the, the, this uh, this game because I know how difficult it was, and now we just have to continue to work. 
um, because uh, now we need to get better in, in, in other areas. But uh, if you put, if you if we continue to put this work in each game, uh, uh, we, we're going to be a very competitive team. We'll go to Paul Danzer next. Hey, Gio, what was the key to keeping Rui Diaz from getting any real good looks tonight? I think it was important uh, in the fact that we were very tight in the back. We didn't uh, allow too many many spaces to be open. Um, our midfielders and our, our defensive line uh, was very close to each other. So we always uh, picked up, you know, even from from the front or from the back, uh, the players that were trying to drop, we didn't allow Ridias to drop to two positions to, to create, uh, you know, space and, and, and win balls in there. So we made it very difficult for him. So I think uh, we did a lot of very good things to prevent uh, Ridias, you know, to find his game. And then when they tried to play deeper and behind our lines, we did a great job to come back, to cover each other, to make sure that we were able to have a lot of discipline with the, with the fullback staying uh, in their positions and with the help of the wingers. Uh, it was just a, a cohesive um, performance that uh, prevented many things, um, especially players like Ridias to, to get you know, into good spaces. Um, so overall, I think uh, the reason why he didn't find uh, found a, a comfortable match is because uh, how well the guys uh, perform and how disciplined they were to be able to do the things that we ask them to do. We'll go to Will Conwell. Uh, Gio, can you talk a little bit about the two goals today, where they came from, and Felipe Mora's role in that? Yeah, I think uh, the, the two goals came especially because I believe uh, Seattle tried to push their lines even higher than in, in the second half. Uh, we were able to find, find the counter uh, in spaces to, to go forward and, and uh, with some good decisions, with uh, patience, making sure that we connected. Uh, in the first goal, uh, Mora uh, saw Seba get into a good space and, and, uh, and then uh, he had the patience and, and, uh, and the, the intelligence to be able to find Seba right there that was uh, by himself. Uh, maybe another player was shot. Um, so. Seba was wide open. He believed in the run. He got into a good space, and and we were able to score. Um, and then the second goal, it, it was uh, just Mora believing in, in that he could win that ball, and it was a difficult ball for them to defend. And and at the end, uh, just the, the quality uh, of Pipe to be able just to score to put over the head uh, of the goalkeeper, which wasn't easy. Cleveland is a is a tall goalkeeper. Is in, in um, what what uh, what he did Mora was uh, phenomenal uh, to be able to score the second goal well needed to then uh, close the match uh, at, at that moment. Okay, we'll take one last question from John Rojas. Thank you, Gio. Gracias por el tiempo. Gio, por lo que significaba el partido, por el rival, por los recientes resultados, quizás había un poquito de licencia hoy para que el resultado fuese más importante que las formas. Mira, era un, re, un resultado que necesitábamos, un, un partido importante por muchas razones. Primero, porque queríamos hacer un buen partido, porque no en los últimos partidos fuera de Kansas City, que creo que jugamos muy bien, eh, creo que nuestra performance no fue ideal y perdimos puntos importantes. Entonces necesitábamos conseguir hacer un buen partido. Eh, también en nuestro rival, queríamos ganar aquí, en un lugar donde... Siempre hemos competido bien, um, quitarnos un poco esa espinita también de, del partido de casa y, y a la final demostrar que, que somos un equipo que quiere seguir siendo competitivo y lograr ganar un partido acá que es tan difícil, conseguir hacer dos goles, que no nos hicieran goles, fue muy importante. Uh, ahora, por supuesto, que a pesar de que fue una, un gran partido y estuvo muy orgulloso de los muchachos, podemos mejorar, todavía hay áreas que podemos mejorar, podemos ser todavía un mejor equipo y, y eso creo que es uh, algo muy motivante. 